Welcome to 3 Minute Management. I'm Lisa Lord with the Longleaf Alliance. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to properly plant longleaf pine seedlings. Longleaf pine forests provide a variety of benefits to landowners and good site preparation, quality seedlings, and proper planting techniques will ensure the health of a young stand. Planting sites can be divided into cutover sites and old agricultural fields and pastures. Cutover sites are typically easier to reforest than old field sites that often have improved forage grasses such as fescue and bahia that are very aggressive and can outcompete the young seedlings unless eliminated. Order your seedlings early in the year, preferably by June. You have two choices when it comes to seedlings, containerized or bare root. Over 90% of this longleaf seedlings planted today are containerized. Today, we're going to discuss only the planting of containerized seedlings. For a list of suppliers and their seed sources, go to longleafalliance.org. Containerized seedlings, although slightly more expensive than bare root, have a 15 to 20% higher survival rate, are easier to handle and plant, and are recommended by the Longleaf Alliance for these reasons. After lifting from their nursery beds, they can be stored for a longer period of time and are readily available in most areas. Inspect a few sample boxes of the seedlings prior to planting and show the planters what to discard, especially any weak, floppy seedlings or seedlings with mold that they come across. Use experienced planters and ask for references. When the trees are planted, you or another knowledgeable person like a forester who has experience with longleaf should oversee the crew. Longleaf can be planted from November through March, but are usually best planted early in the season, preferably before Christmas and after the winter rains have restored adequate soil moisture. There are some exceptions in areas where November or December is still very dry. Soil moisture is the key and critical to survival, so wait to plant until the first few inches of soil are moist. Best planting weather is above freezing and below 75 degrees with enough relative humidity so the roots don't dry out. Seedlings should be planted as soon as possible after arrival, even if containerized. Refrigeration is best if the seedlings must be stored for several days. Never leave seedlings out in direct sunlight or high winds. Planting depth is very important. On cutover sites, be sure to plant containerized seedlings with the plug showing. This will keep the soil from moving and covering the terminal bud. Planting depth trials conducted by the Longleaf Alliance determined that containerized seedlings can survive when half of the plug was planted above ground level, but died when planted too deep. Once the trees are placed in the ground, they should be properly packed for tightness and to eliminate any air pocket at the base of the root. With careful attention to planting techniques, successful planting of longleaf seedlings can be achieved. I'm Lisa Lord with the Longleaf Alliance. For more information, go to longleafalliance.org.